How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Transformers review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Generations Combiner Wars Leader Class Megatron figure. Now, the packaging here is your typical Combiner Wars style packaging, which I really do like. I like the black, the kind of a sleek look here. Um, you get to see Megatron there in his robot mode, his accessory pieces, his little collectible card in the back. You get a nice little picture of him there. Then you get on the side a little more of a full-size picture of it. On the back you get to see him in his robot mode, his alt mode, which is a tank, which not too bad. I don't mind that. 15 easy steps to go from each mode, which I guess is pretty good for a leader class figure. And on the back, we have a little bit of a bio, which is in four different languages. And um, there's the English one if you want to pause it and read it. Nothing really on this side. And on the bottom, really nothing there except for that this is an authentic Transformer, which uh, it's kind of weird that they're doing that now. But all right, let's take a look at the figure. All right, here's Megatron out of the packaging, and we're going to start off a little bit differently since he comes packaged in robot mode. We're going to take a look at him in robot mode, then look at some comparisons, and then go into the transformation into his alt mode, which is a tank, which I'm fine with, uh, but we'll get to that um, a little bit later. But really nice looking figure. I'm really impressed with what Hasbro did with this figure as far as the paint applications, the just overall look. Um, this is another one of those, like, um, figures that Hasbro really knocked out of the park in my eyes, um, opposed to the previous, you know, incarnations of Megatron that we've got. Um, just look at that head sculpt. I mean, it's just a really nice head sculpt. You got some nice light piping. You get this nice translucent red there. And instead of just having that and then painting his eyes red, they actually, um, function. Too bad my lights aren't working too well but really sweet do you like the tampographed decepticon symbol there the kind of the look right here in the ab section he does come with some stickers so if you want you can create the autobot version of megatron you got one sticker for robot mode and for his tank mode and then you do have a g1 as i drop the sticker sheet there kind of look that you can put on his chest here but Unfortunately, the stickers are white, so you have this really nice, you know, metallic silver paint there. And then they should have made the stickers clear, at least the backing clear, so it just blends in nicely. It just would kind of look dumb, so I'm not going to really put the stickers on. It does come with some other accessory pieces. You have his gun here, which you can kind of see the, that piece, and then I guess if you want... This could be kind of like a handgun. They do plug in together. And then he does come with a red plastic missile, which you just load in right there. There's a little red button, and that's how you launch it. And for me, that's part of for the tank mode. And I know that on the back of the packaging, even the instructions and such, that's how you should have his fusion cannon. But I like to have it displayed the other way. You get that more G1 looking fusion cannon. Yes, you don't get to utilize the missile firing feature, but you have the nice throwback look, I mean, of the scope there. If you kind of just look at it from, like, from here down, you got the nice little knob there. Um, everything about it very sweet all right articulation he's got quite a bit um, which is really nice at the arm here you can rotate his arm around 360 degrees in and out at the shoulder and I know that a lot of people don't like that look that red there um, but Takara is gonna remedy that by painting that silver blending it a little bit better with the the chest and arm piece but you can rotate it around 360 degrees in and out um, elbow joint Kind of go back and forth a little bit there. Um, bicep swivel, wrist swivel. Um, kind of tight there. Head can go side to side. He can look down, he can look up. He's got a waist swivel. Legs can go forward, back, in and out. Knee joint. And you can hear all those nice little kind of ratchety joints there, which is really sweet. Really nothing in the foot, I guess, if you want to count that. So, but still a really nice range of motion. Give him his gun here. All 
Um, no, you know, finger articulation, but you know, I'm fine with that, especially being a chug figure. But not too bad. The only gripe I have with the robot mode, I mean, I know that is a little awkward, but um, is the fact that, as you can see, his stance. Now you have that look. Then, if you want, you can extend it out. But you know, that looks kind of kind of weird. Extend out the other side, and just like with Optimus Prime. You have this wide-legged stance. There's no in-between between this and, you know, this. And I wish that that could have been fixed somehow. Uh, especially with, we saw it in Optimus Prime and now we're, you know, seeing it here. Um, but other than that, it's not too bad. All right, let's move on to some size comparisons. All right, the first size comparison here he is next to Optimus Prime, which is from the Combiner Wars, Voyager class size. They don't look too bad next to each other. I do like the fact that Megatron is bigger, um, but you know Optimus could be just a tad bit bigger also, but it doesn't really bother me too much. And then here he is next to MP10, which I know some people were thinking this could be a stand-in for an MP10 scaled Megatron since the masterpiece is so um, huge. Yeah, and he does. It doesn't look too bad. He is a little bit shorter, but, um, you know, it, it works if you want to display him, like, on your Masterpiece shelf. And speaking of Masterpiece, you, know, you guys can kind of take a look. There he is next to the giant size Masterpiece. Which, I still like this figure. I, st I, I do like the Masterpiece, for what it's worth. Here is the United which for an official Megatron in the chug line, I mean, this was the best that we got. Um, too bad it took three, you know, three times to, you know, get to that nice looking um, look, but oh well. And then if you go in the third party route, you know, you have the Hegemon from Toy World, which for me was my chug Megatron. And, you know, this might might take over that spot, but I, st I, st I do still like this guy. And then some throwbacks. Here he is next to G1. Again, like I said, with the stickers, You're trying to kind of recreate that look right there on his chest. And then, even though they don't look anything alike, but, you know, the tank mode coming from the G2 version. So, all right, let's now move into his transformation into his tank. All right, to transform him, really simple. Um, like the box stated, you have 15 easy steps, and um, there is a little bit of cues to the original G2, which is kind of nice, but I did forget to mention that this gun kind of resembles his G2 gun. But what are you going to do first? Since I already have the um, cannon in the right position, if you had it the other way, you just kind of pop it up and rotate it around. Pretty simple, but take the forearm piece, kind of panel there, slide it down, covers up the hands there. Unhook the chest piece, which is just tabbed in right there. Make sure his head's back. And this is one little gripe. You kind of have to be careful because this piece is just going to rest on his forehead. And if you're not careful, over time you could start to wear this down. And, you know, this really nice looking, you know, paint job is going to get scuffed up. So let's keep that in mind. Unpeg is, I guess, crotch piece there. And then can see that there's some kind of notches or those little slits right there are actually going to um, tab into the cannon or the cannon's going to tab into that section right there unfortunately by doing that you are um, taking away the ability for the cannon to um, tilt upward but um, I'm okay with that extend out the barrel of the cannon there next we'll take his backpack unclip it and I do like this it's on a swing hinge so you're just gonna kind of swing it up and then you can see that tab is just gonna plug in right there like so and then for the back legs you're just going to let's see forgot to fold his feet upward like that and then you can see that there's a place right there and there for these two tabs to connect into. Like 
kind of see underneath there. And there, do the same thing to the other side. And then this black piece is actually going to fit right in between those three kind of notches. Like so. And it's not too bad. I mean, really simple for a leader class. Add his guns. And he is all transformed. You do have some nice range of motion with the turret now that you can actually swing it side to side unlike the G2 but unfortunately like I said before you you can't raise it up unfortunately still launch the missile by just pushing the red button there you do have some minicon ports which is really cool which will be more utilized in the Armada release but still it's nice to have it on here we got one on the back got two in the front and then one on top and um it's a snug fit, but they, they do fit. So, not too bad. All right. Other things it does have, which was a kind of a nice surprise, rubber uh, tank treads there. So you have that. Over time, they probably will wear and crack, but it is a nice touch. Um, I do like that. I do like the amount of detail that's molded into the plastic. I mean... All of this, really fantastic. I love the coloring again. Um, you got the nice Tampograph Decepticon symbol there. On the underneath part, I mean, you do see his head, but other than that, it's, you know, pretty clean. So, all right, let's bring in the G2 version. And the G2 version's obviously bigger. I mean, the leader class sizes now are on the kind of the smaller side, but still looks good. Do hope that Hasbro will release this again in the G2 color scheme. But as you can kind of see there. All right. All right. Quick and final thoughts on Megatron. I think he's a great piece to have. If you're collecting the Combiner Wars or you're a Chug collector, I think this is well worth picking up. Um, real quickly, I forgot to um, put this guy in the comparison, but here's classic Starscream. I know, I'm sure a lot of us have some version of this molded Seeker. So, um, that's what he looks like with this mold. Uh, unfortunately, he does tower over him, but you know Hasbro is, I guess, remedying that by giving us that retooled, you know, Jetfire as far as being Thundercracker. And I'm I'm, I'm assuming that they're going to give us Starscream and Skywarp. So, but um, I really don't like those. But Megatron here definitely I think is worth just picking up. I do like it. Um, it's you know finally we get. A nice updated look to a G1, um, I think. So that's it for Combiner Wars Megatron. Thanks again for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Stay tuned for more. Take care, and I'll talk to you guys later.